Hi, I'm Kat Airhorn, and today we're going to go through the process of making paper adobe blocks. These blocks are made of uh, half of uh, recycled garbage, paper garbage, and half clay, and uh, a couple scoops of lime slurry, uh, which uh, result in a highly insulated, well soundproofed, lightweight, strong, inexpensive adobe block. <laughs> Buy three 50 pound bags of Type S lime from your local hardware store and fill this 55 gallon drum about halfway full with water. Uh, then taking one bag at a time, put the bag intact, submerged under this water, and then slice it, the whole front length of the sack, under water. Um, so put all three bags in, and it's good to leave it in the water soaking for about three days minimum to one week ideally to uh, fully slake the lime. So next we start adding water into the mixer. Get the water started in here first of all, uh, and fill it up to about half full. And now we'll go get the newspaper. We've made arrangements with our local newspaper office to save their overruns. Uh, we'll stop by the newspaper office periodically and collect bundled newspapers that are very easy to store. You can see uh, they're contained and we can leave them loose uh, out on the ground. Or we put them into a wired trash corral where we can also store uh, loose uh, trash from our campground that's been recycled. Uh, cardboard boxes, cereal boxes, milk cartons, etc. Um, the wire uh, fencing contains them very well. Uh, 55 gallon drums is also a good way to store the loose uh, paper that we recycle into our blocks. So we just start to gradually putting the newspapers in. We don't need to unfold them completely, but maybe two or three pages uh, thick. And we float them around on the top of this water in here that's just above the blade. And make sure they stay suspended. We never press it down. Uh, because we don't want the blade to get clogged up with heavy weight. Now, this is the part of the process that takes the longest amount of time. Our mixer uh, has a good feeling of uh, suspended newspaper floating on top of the water. We've got probably three rounds to go in the truck with the mixer, adding water, adjusting paper till we get the perfect slurry, and then we'll add the lime, and then we add the dirt. So it's good to periodically um, free the uh, blades of any clogged paper underneath the blades. And you just scoop in and pull it out, free it like that. We're finding doing it halfway um, works better because if we fill it up all the way the first time, the water really slishes out. Did you see how it was wanting to splash out? And that was only with half-filled water. This is getting close, you guys. Is it? Yeah. to add the um, lime now. First we free the blades of any clogs by running our hands completely underneath them and pulling out. So lime tends to be uh, irritating to most folks' skin. It can cause redness. So immediately, immediately after handling the lime, always be sure to rinse thoroughly. Um, there could be less water in here, but since there's not, I just take the bucket and reach in down to the level of, of the slaked lime and get a nice uh, can of putty. Now we're going to add some uh, weeds since we just harvested these weeds 
and uh, they add a nice aesthetic uh, quality to the uh, blocks. Nice kind of organic feel. We don't add a lot of these, and this is totally optional. Um, but they do add a nice organic feel to the block. So this is a great use for your, uh, you know, weeding projects instead of burning them. Okay, now we have to count shovels. So we're gonna put in, uh, what were we up to yesterday? 200? 200 shovel full. And again, I'm gonna free the blades before we add any more weight in here. And once we've added this grass material, things tend to clog up because they're, you know, sticks in there. Okay, so see it's kind of cloggy and the wheels were sticking back there. So your goal, is to get clay uh, content to a maximum of 30% of your material, a minimum of 10%. Uh, so anywhere from 10 to 30% clay content is ideal. This is still a little watery to pour. We're getting so close, but when we pour a looser block, uh, the shape's not as tight as uh, we can get with a stiffer mix. Two. So we may not mix this by machine after we add this dirt. We'll probably just mix it with our hands to not well, risk it. equipment failure. Bye. All right. So okay, let's so now we start ready. unloading this into forms. Okay, so here we are. This ground is uh, not as level as we ideally wanted. It has bumps and contours. So we're just going to take a rake and level it. Now that's approximately enough area for one form. And then what we do is we take the form, we put it on the level area. So in the form, we level out the mud so it, it's even. So the block is going to be even, like a flat surface. And, um, and then basically we're ready. So now we can start pouring the forms in. And if the ground is not level, the blocks tend to be lopsided and uh, the shape is not consistent. So as our friends are pouring um, mud in here, one person stays here and okay. makes sure the mud gets all the way to the edge because it won't go unless you put your fingers in there and press it down. And uh, that's what we're doing. We're going to make sure the block is well laid out. Now we've poured all the mud on and the blocks aren't leveled. So we're just going to take this piece of wood Light it. This exact motion, and we get our block perfectly level. Take this bit of mud. Oops, sorry, Julio. <laughs> use it in the next form. Okay, so we're slowly raising the form off the port adobe, and you can see after only about a minute that they hold their shape. We move the form and then repeat the process. Okay. So these blocks will stay here depending on the weather and the temperature, maybe two days. Um, after which time we then stand them up as these blocks are stood up. And we take a spatula and scrape off this loose dirt that's stuck to the bottom and then trim the edges and let these set another three to five days, um, letting the wind dry them, the sun dry them, and then they'll be strong enough to handle and stack them for permanent storage until we put them into a building or a wall.